There are literally thousands of YouTube videos from wrestling content creators debating what is the greatest finisher of all time. But I'm Santi. I'm more original than that. So I'm going to do the same thing with a little bit of a twist. So today we're going to narrow our scope down to determine what is the best finisher that starts with each letter of the alphabet. And hey, as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. As of the making of this video, I'm so close to 100,000 subscribers. Please help me get there. Subscribe if you're a wrestling fan. All right, so at A, there was actually a lot of competition because we have the likes of the Accolade, the Angle Slam, the Anaconda Vice Grip, the Atomic Leg Drop, and even the Attitude Adjustment. And you'd think with me being the biggest John Cena Glazer of all time that I would go with the Attitude Adjustment, but no, I ended up going with the one and only the Ankle Lock. Specifically, Kurt Angle's Ankle Lock to me is my favorite submission move of all time. And I think think it is just executed to perfection when Angle does it. I don't think that anyone really has been able to really replicate the intensity of the ankle lock like Kurt Angle did. I know uh, Chad Gable is trying and um, Jack Swagger also tried it, but none of them came close. Kurt Angle's ankle lock is just a thing of beauty. The letter B also had some competition here as it had the likes of the brogue kick, the bonsai drop, the ball hammer elbow, the black widow, the big ending, the backstab, Ultimately, I ended up going with an easy choice, in my opinion. I ended up going with the iconic Batista bomb, probably the best sit down power bomb in the business. It always just had so much intensity to it. And of course, Batista has won many a big matches with this move. C was the easiest one for me because it includes what I think is the best finisher of all time. But it wasn't without competition because we had the choke slam. We had the curb stomp. We had the crippler cross face, of course, the Cobra. But ultimately, I ended up going with my favorite finishing move of all time, the clothesline from hell, because it just turns people inside and out. And you'd think it's just such a simple finisher. Anyone can do it, but no, this, no one has been able to replicate the intensity of the clothesline from hell like JBL, AKA Bradshaw has. This is my favorite finishing move of all time. It's just so scary. You honestly go watch a compilation of clothesline from hells and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So a D, there weren't too many options that I could think of. The only finisher move of really any note that I could think of that starts with a D had to be the dirty deeds from Dean Ambrose when he was Dean Ambrose in the WWE John Moxley now uh, but yeah I mean I really like this finisher I like the double underhook of the arms kind of preventing the person that's taking that move to really like protect themselves kind of like an old school pedigree so I like this move I think he does it better than the future chalk DDT version that McIntyre does he has this like little kick out as he's going down that makes it have this like extra bout of momentum that I really like as well. So yeah, dirty deeds. Okay, so at the letter E, like I don't, is this even a finisher? I went with the educator. I don't know, dude. I've literally never seen Edge win with this, but you know, I looked online and people consider this to be a finisher, but again, I've literally never seen him win with this thing. So I don't know, go ahead and tell me in the comments that it's not, I'm not necessarily gonna disagree with you, but uh, yeah, I would, the educator is like literally the only thing I could find or think of that starts with the letter E. F to me, this is another easy one, but there were a couple of iconic moves that starts with F. For example, the five star frog splash, just the regular frog splash, the figure four leg lock, the figure eight leg lock, but I had to go with Brock Lesnar's F5. I think at this point, it's more iconic than all those other moves that I listed. Of course, it ended the Undertaker streak. It's won plenty of world titles and it's delivered by one of the scariest WWE superstars of all time in Brock Lesnar. Do you know how many times I've F5'd a pillow in my life? Like just so many when I was a kid. At G, I ended up going with the go to sleeve. You can go with Kenta's or with CM Punk's. I think Kenta's is better, but CM Punk's is definitely more iconic. The go to sleep it is. At H, we went with another submission move. We ended up going with the Undertaker's Hell's Gates. Plenty of people have passed out or tapped out to this move. Some of the most iconic WWE superstars have tapped out or passed out to this move. Uh, I personally I really like it. I think it brings a little bit of like quasi legitimacy to the Undertaker's move sets. It kind of gives them like, like that MMA vibe. So uh, yeah, I'm going with uh, with the Hell's Gates. 
at I, I couldn't think of anything. So I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you about my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash app where you're going to get even more wrestling content than you're already getting here. You're already getting daily wrestling videos, but over there, you're going to get even more wrestling content. You'll be getting the Wrestling is Cool podcast between me and Sancho three days early before everybody else. You're also going to get exclusive access to the extra Wrestling is Cool Plus podcast that's only available to patrons. You're also going to get my Monday Night Raw reviews, Friday Night Smackdown reviews. You're going to get access to the monthly mailbag and the ability to send in questions and our monthly wrestling watch along book club. So lots of content there for just a couple of extra bucks. Patreon.com slash Santi Zab. Go ahead and help me out. Helps me keep the lights on and the mics on. Pre- would appreciate it. Patreon.com slash Santi Zab. All right, that's enough of selling my soul. Let's go to Jay. And I ended up going with the Jackknife Powerbomb. Uh, not too many options here, but the Jackknife Powerbomb is actually a pretty awesome finisher. I love how there it's just kind of just falling, right? There's no drop. He kind of just tosses them up in the air and he lets gravity do the job. And it only really works as a strong finisher because Kevin Nash is so damn tall. I like the jackknife powerbomb. At K, I kind of cheated because I ended up going with the kill switch, even though it started as the unprettier, but at one point or another, the WWE started calling it the kill switch and then went back to the unprettier. But hell, you know what? It counts. It, it started with, with, with a U, but now it's a K. Sure, it went back to the U, but it was a K at one point. Kill switch. Okay, I'm taking it. At L, we have one of my favorite finishers of all time. I think it's one of the scariest finishers of all time. The Undertaker's Last Ride. It's a power bomb being delivered by somebody who's already 6'8", and then he hoists you up in the air to make your drop another four to five feet. This thing is terrifying, and he even uses the trunks and grabs to be able to drop you down with even more force. This thing is terrible. At the end, we have the Mandible Claw by Mankind, Mick Foley, Dude Love, Cactus Jack, and also The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Of course, definitely popularized by the many faces of Mick Foley. This is not my favorite, but you know, it, it's iconic. At N, I ended up going with Cesaro's Neutralizer. Cesaro now goes by Claudio Casignoli over in AEW, but this finisher was pretty rad. At O, I couldn't think of anything, so I cheated, and I went with an over-the-top rope elimination at the Royal Rumble. Hell, Technically, that finishes that wrestler. If they go over the top rope, their match is done. It's a finisher. I mean, kind of. P to me was very easy, but there are some iconic finishers in there, like the perfect flex, the punt, the pop-up powerbomb, the people's elbow, although as silly and as dumb as it is, it is an iconic finisher. But of course, it had to be the pedigree. I specifically want to give a shout out to the pedigree where he doesn't let go and, of, and unhook the arms on the way down. Like this pedigree from the, from the Attitude Era was just so much more devastating than what he ended up doing and how he ended up modifying it going into the ruthless aggression era and for the rest of his career i did when he when he's got that thing locked in and hooked it just looks so much deadlier at q if you can think of something let me know i'll use this opportunity to let you know that i stream on twitch every day twitch.tv slash santi zap go check it out monday night raw and friday night smackdown watch alongs if you want some friends to watch wrestling with go check it out twitch.tv slash santi zap all right everybody say with me at r we have the rko was it ever a competition? No, not really. We did have the rock bottom, the rough rider, the running knee. Razor's Edge is a pretty awesome finisher, but come on, the RKO is not just in contention for the best finisher that starts with the letter R. It's in contention for the greatest finisher of all time, period. It's like number two for me after the clothesline from hell, but yeah, it had to be the RKO all day, every day. So at S, this was probably the most contentious one because we have the likes of the Sweet Chin Music in here. The Swanton Bomb. We have the Styles Clash, the Stone Cold Stunner. We have the SOS, Sister Abigail, Skull Crushing Finale, the Sharpshooter, the Scissors Kick. But ultimately, I ended up going with a Spear because the Spear is, you know, as simple as a finisher as it is, the Spear is is awesome. It, it, it also really depends on who does the Spear. Like I just showed you Braun Breaker there. But, you know, Roman has a pretty solid Spear as well. But no one will ever top my man Goldberg. Like Goldberg Spear, like him just absolutely folding Dolph Ziggler like a like a lawn chair it is just a thing of beauty. It's just a beautiful car crash that we're looking at here. I had to go with the spear. Actually, you know what would be a really interesting fact to like deep dive in? I wonder if the spear is the move that has won the most matches because so many people do the spear. I'm curious if it might be the move that has gotten the most three counts. 
at T, this was another really easy one. It's the Tombstone Pile Driver, uh, probably the most iconic finisher of all time, like easily. Like it's the Tombstone Pile Driver by The Undertaker. There's different variations of it, of course, like Chris Statlander in AEW does a variation of it. Kane, of course, does a variation of it. But of course, no one will ever even touch the level of icon that it was the, the Tombstone Pile Driver from The Undertaker. This thing is absolutely goaded. At you, I went, I know I already used the kill switch, but but I'm going with the Unpretty Her from Chelsea Green. It's different than the Unpretty Her, okay? It's different because it's done by a woman, okay? And it's called the Unpretty Her. And also, she does this little jumping thing that I really like that adds that little extra oomph that Christian never did because Christian just kind of drops and sits and Chelsea Green, like, actually, like, gets, like, to quote, you know, the famous philosopher Napoleon Dynamite, she gets, like, three feet of air that time. At V, I've seen this win matches, especially in an ECW. We have the Van Terminator, not to be confused with the Van Daminator. This is the Van Terminator, a variation of the West of the coast to coast. But uh, yeah, Rob Van Dam's will always be the best version of this. A W I went with break the walls down, breaking down the wall. Chris Jericho, Chris Jericho's lion tamer, walls of Jericho, whatever it is that you want to call it. This thing is a thing of beauty. Of course, the best variation of this is the one where he puts his knee on the on the back of the neck to add to that extra torque and add to that extra pressure. I love the walls. The walls is awesome. At X, I couldn't find anything, but uh, Twitter is now called X, so go follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash SantiZap. I talk about wrestling, and that's where I get your hot takes for those hot take videos, so uh, yeah, go over there and engage with me a little bit. At Y, I went with Daniel Bryan's Yes Lock. It's a variation of the Crippler Crossface, but Daniel Bryan just, ugh, he makes this thing look so terrifying and scary, especially with the way that the shoulder uh, just kind of pushes back and torques back. This thing is, is an absolute absolute masterpiece when Daniel Bryan does it. At Z, or us, us civilized Canadians would say Z, we have the zigzag. Honestly, this is literally like the only finisher that starts with a Z, Z, whatever it is that you want to call it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Get out of here.